Morning guys, it's another beautiful day today. We got a little sun shining this morning. It's already getting hot out and I'm already sweating. You can see a little bit, but so today's project is to get the ground stakes put in for the electrical today. Just wanted to give you a little update here. So I got everything wired in here for the rest of the panel box. One thing I was trying to work on was getting this ground wire in. So we got that run in, a ground wire down in the back here. I decided in case I am going to do any digging on the front in the future, like for a garage or the house, anything like that, I didn't want the ground wire in the way. And they said that it was acceptable with code here to put the ground bars in the ditch. You can even slightly angle them, I think up to 45 degrees. I only slanted it like 10 degrees. But that helps with the ditch being like 32 inches deep. That really helped with how far I had to pound it in. That's the one. So what they require here is two feet from the panel box for the first one, and then six foot spacing to the second one, and just below grade a little bit. So I got some ground clamps here. I kind of showed you close up, I think. Grounding clamps, and then I just wrapped it around there, but I believe it's six gauge copper wire. Your local supply house will know that. But anyway, got that ran in. So that all should be good to go. Okay, so better daylight here is the panel box in here. Now that I got that all wired in, I got a 15 amp circuit for my lights, 20 amp circuit for my breaker. I got a GFI right here. Everything has to be run an MC cable for this existing pole barn structure. So then over here, I got stuff hanging on the wall everywhere, but I got just a simple switch there and a simple light up there. So all right, caught up with Weston. Weston, what's something you're thankful for today? Hot chocolate and a steamer. Oh, hot chocolate and steamers. That's good. I love it too. Do you like the hot chocolate with homemade whipped toffee? Yeah. Yeah, if we can have it. Sometimes we don't have it, but it is a lot of fun with when we have that on it, huh? All right, so the one project I have is in the camper. This faucet here just broke right off. And so, when we were demoing out the bathroom in the house the other day, I saved this nice little mowing out of that vanity, and as far as I can tell, the handle spacing is the same. Seems pretty standard. So, that's my project, is I'm going to try to get into this little sink right here, tight little space, and replace that. Alright guys, I think so far so good. I got the new faucet in here. As with anything, when you do a plumbing project, it's usually good to leave the door open for a while and make sure that there's going to be no leaks. Alright guys, well that's pretty much the update for today. You guys have a good night and we'll talk to you tomorrow.